Now, when we last left off, we were being informed by Alfred that the GCPD were in the process of raiding my home <laughs> because of some accusations by individuals both in the media as well as the potential general populace. The last one we'll have to talk about. Uh, yeah, and they're everywhere. And there's already hey, a hey, mess. Hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Jesus, Wayne. You, Say people who? can't just open things. You this have to war. tear them to pieces. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I you understand. You're you could have just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill in the rain with skates on. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. Need to be the guy doing your taxes. Who authorized timing. this? I know you and the DA are buddy buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. Hill? As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Hmm. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become Just facts, like I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. There's no way these computers won't cause problems for my systems later on. No way. A memory. He's always stuck in that moment. Bruce, stay back! You, you don't have to do this. That's the tragedy of Bruce, Bruce. Wayne. Bruce. The only way to get real, Batman, you have Bruce? to destroy the boy. It's the only way it works. I, I didn't mean to All interrupt, it but... Is. Uh, it's... It's not a problem, really. Ah, oh, Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. Yeah, <laughs> really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Interesting. Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no <laughs> one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Not every day you get to go after a Wayne. Hill wants me out of the picture because with my backing, Harvey wins in a landslide. All signs point to Hill. You're a kingmaker, Mr. Wayne. And Harvey Dent is Gotham's knight in shining armor just waiting for the crown. 
You're the first target on Hill's list. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. Oh, God. On the record, right. then. Whenever you're ready. You know what? Let's go with the last one. I'm, I'm not Whoever aware fabricated of these so. lies about my family, Whoa. they will get eh. what they deserve. Understood. That's exactly Jesus. what the people of Gotham need to hear. Sometimes you're going to some beat this, choices. Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Rail. See, and then statements like that make me think that the choice I made in the end may cause more I hate to admit right it, there. but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family... We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents... It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. It wouldn't be too hard to figure out why he didn't, at least on one side, without having his information. Everybody probably knows you and he are friends, or stands to reason somebody would go around him to snipe you. Beyond that, it's hard to say whether it is he actually knew about it or not. Sorry about that, folks. Needed to check something. Cafe Trist. Or Trist, whichever one. Warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass the as it is. The other choices were kind of blaming you and making this your problem. Mayor so Hill authorized this? The yeah. Now. Then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. He has no right to issue search warrants without my okay. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? It just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? It's got to be politically motivated. Hill can't match your fundraising, so he's trying to take out your biggest donor. I don't know. <laughs> this is a new low. Even for Hill. Ah, oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of the this investigation, he would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that exactly. wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. We need to fight back. Hill cannot get away with this. It may not be a war we can win. The city will be behind you, Harvey, just like I am. There you are. Hey, you. Do what? Sorry. Oh, yeah. I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Uh, Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. 
Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. I'd take that ride. So, Miss Kyle, what brings you to Gotham? Business. Well, let's just hope she stays after what happened last night. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. It's not your fault. Well, that's terrible. Did they catch the guy? Not yet. But if they don't, I will. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Oh, sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. It could have been worse. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, uh, high reward. You it up. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. Nice to meet the real you. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention everyone in this cafe. What do you want with Harvey? Don't worry about your friend. My interest in him is personal. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. Yeah. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. <laughs> I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. Uh -huh. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, it looks like you've made your bed. No, we've Don't made it. this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. In fact... Uh, I mean, in mean, truth, I owe you nothing, woman. You the one who decided to show up to my city playing your little game. You just happened to slip up and got caught. I spend most of my time avoiding them. I don't owe you anything. As far as I'm concerned, you're but, on your own. Huh. I was hoping we could work together. Sorry. I'm a solo Not, act. But you can pass me your info. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. I My know. employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. Your the address now. No, give me the drive. I need you. You're to just trust going me. to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat. 
Not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. You making this Everything harder for okay yourself, here? Ma. You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel me. Yes, I do. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've Gone. got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. <sighs> Little comments like that tend to cause problems in relationships. What suit that I do not know about that I've known this guy for something like 12 years and your one conversation has you knowing about? What suit is that, dear? I don't know, like I said, I mean, as a character, Catwoman is a very good character. I, I just don't do that. In and out nature. Alfred, Pick I'm at the line. warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. Make a choice. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. That is why Alfred is the guy in the chair. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Psychoactive nerve agent. Nothing left to bury. Their connection, huh? Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. Hmm. Interesting. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his no every way. move. Good thinking, sir. This is a room full of cops. And he says, come see me once you're done searching the place? Nah. He ain't lived this long as a mob boss making his No. That bad? Face slashed, throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. This is the kind of guy that you ask him what he does, and he says he <laughs> he's an olive oil expert. Skyline Club. Nails. B. 
bits of human flesh. This man's been badly burned, but the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Sensors say it's an incendiary route. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. What's your standard phosphorus? Shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Dude went Wolverine without the claws. I've seen these outfits before. Yeah. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. Okay. That's reason number two. Falcone more than likely didn't not necessarily involved, period, but not directly involved. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Okay. I mean, true, but, you know, there's one, two, three, potentially four, depending on whoever this was. <laughs> Cops in here, you could have said something like that about, but I mean, I get it. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. He actually looked to get a little irate when Alfred said that. Like, why? I could have stopped it. But yeah, and you would have ended up with a lack of, of a chest in the freaking process. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Mm-hmm. So... Canister explodes from the incendiary round, and either another incendiary round was fired, or the same round exploded. The scrap of metal is from the exploding canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. Something was here when the explosion occurred.
someone drove off after the explosion. See, to clarify beforehand, folks, there will obviously be points where you might want to break certain links. But I do think there are instances where multiple links can lead to the same thing. Not sure, though. We'll see as we go. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Have you put it? Yes. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. It would have to be. But look at that. It's a small war zone. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. He'd have a clear shot, but there's only two places he'd be able to properly watch the situation completely. And it's not over there. No sniper is going to be dumb enough to be this close to the battlefield. Is that a cigarette? Phosphorus spike, clear vantage point, we have a winner. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Killing time. And it's still lit, like how long has this been? This is the right spot, so where did he go? Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. Swear to me. My turn. Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. No, Coney. Why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. You didn't do this alone. Where are the others? Long gone. You won't find them. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. <laughs> Your bones will. don't know me. You'll find I'm the ultimate negotiator. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. <laughs> Tell me the plan. Or I start swinging. Yeah. 
Tell me. That cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Container by container. Someone must have heard us, called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! They're some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Balcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I told you everything I know! You're an animal! I was just here for a pickup! I swear! You're a cat! You're supposed to be a good... Oh, God. I don't need Jesus to break you further. Christ. These are cops. Maybe you have more. Get an ambulance well. in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. It's Montoya. We'll talk. Send a cleanup unit to the docks. Warehouse 133. Let's talk to Gordon. Especially since we called Hey! Him. Freeze! Don't move! Stand down, Montoya. No! My God. You was about to kill me. You want to tell me what the hell this is all about? I told you he was about to kill me. What are you waiting for? Arrest him. Falcone was behind this. Falcone, yeah. I thought he'd been a little quiet lately. Falcone stole a shipment of chemicals. Appears to be a weaponized nerve agent. Causes people to go berserk, turn violent. We need to act before he releases it. I got a task force on it. You already have one. You're taking this too far, Bruce. What, I didn't break anybody, and I'm talking to the cops? You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time, it might be the morgue. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family, you must show the world the true nature of a Wade. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me, I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Well, back into the fray again. 
you really need to get out for the chair, man. Back into the Gotham media feed for you folks. Looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... ...more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering? Falcone's been involved in everything. But it goes back years. You see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. <sighs> this is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. quite useful. Quite a few reporters. The job of a reporter is the same job as a lawyer. To win. To sell the story. It doesn't really matter what you bring. And that's the issue that I tend to have with reporters and lawyers. It's not all of them, but at the end of the day, the end of the day regardless of whether it is all of you or not, it is your job description. In shorthand. But on the other hand, we have Gordon. While Vicky is a good choice because she's shown herself so far to seem to be trustable and would actually get the information. Gordon himself has also shown himself to be trustable. And even though he takes issue with me, he is willing to work with me as Batman. Bringing this information to him could be a little complicated because it begs the question of where I got it. Thing with a reporter, but in truth, I'd rather give it to Gordon in those regards just for the simple fact of sure, how did I get it? But I've got a whole bunch of money, and not all of it's in a bank. I could just as easily pay people who know people to know people who know a couple of other people to pass me this information. Same with a reporter, but even worse. I have a reporter knowing I have pull I probably shouldn't have. Gordon, though, he's kind of used to me. The cops are on the front lines of this war. They Gordon too. needs this more than anyone. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police. And Batman. By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, wow. it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. While there are some corrupt cops, uh, that's not all of them. 
Gordon actually does work with quite a few good cops. Montoya particularly. I don't know about her in this universe, but in quite a few universes, Montoya tends to be... She tends to be all right. It's not money. This... This is a silver bullet. And it's gonna put Falcone down once and for all. I don't even want to know where you got this. No, mm -hmm. you don't. Still... You really don't. I gotta know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. Everyone on the force will too. We've been looking for this kind of firepower for years. I heard you were the last honest man on the force. No need to blow smoke. I don't blow I got enough smoke. cancer coming my way as it is. But thank you. Honestly. Knowing this evidence can lock up Falcone. <laughs> I'll sleep like a goddamn baby. For once. <laughs> You know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. So you should know this isn't gonna change a thing about the investigation of your family. The Waynes always supported the Gotham police. So I like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. Until we find nothing, though, I gotta play bad cop. There are no strings attached. I just want Falcone yep. gone. And that's why I trust you. You and me both. I'm tired of staring at his mugshot. I gotta go. Came straight from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. We're just walking through it. Disagree. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Lieutenant? Hey, stick to Jim. Okay. Look at that. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Though you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. <laughs> like I said, I think his experimental car is just fine. Falcone. I wonder if the Wayne Tech logo is based on the color of your gear that you chose early on. Good point of entry. Where's Nikki? In lockup. Again? Christ, Kimmy. What did they pinch him for now? Some hit down at the docks. Nikki? 
No. I didn't think he was a hatchet man. You and me both. Well, does he got an alibi? Honey, I'm always his alibi. Boy, y'all really think two feet in front of your face, do you? Oh, he's dramatic. Oh, he's he's dangerous. Oh, he's toxic. Oh, but you know, I don't need to deal with the drama that that involves. Just, you know, entertain me for a little bit. <laughs> Tell me another. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh, <laughs> you're cute. So, uh, are you alone? Not anymore, I'm not. Translation, I had a man at home, but don't worry about him. Cameras. The entire floor is under surveillance. You'll be detected as soon as you enter. No time for subtlety. Yeah. It is going to be messy, isn't it? Fine. You make your rounds? Yeah. No broken bones. Still healing from the last time, I bet. All it took was a couple of C notes this time. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, my ass. I know you burned powder at night. The whole city can smell it. have to pull that thread at some point. The white rose. Falcone's symbol. A red rose after tonight. <laughs> Nothing here. Impressive piece of art, somewhat. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. Since we're taking this guy down.
formulated your plan of attack. I'm going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. <laughs> your calling card at the docks. The white robes. You think I wanted to lead you here? <laughs> yeah, something reeks about this old thing. And it is a dead bat. Still want to play games? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals get so riled up about they mine, all right? But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Go ahead. Give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Gotham! <laughs> what a 
place to call home. Spill it, Falcone! While you still can. <laughs> it's... the wings. <laughs> They're behind all this. What do you mean? You wanna save this city? Well, the wings are the biggest gangsters in Gotham! <laughs> Take a Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! That picture either is modern day style fake, made to look old, or is real. And, uh, Alfred, you've got some explaining to do. Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss, Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone <laughs> loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years. But after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham, that this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here shaking hands with Carmine Falcone, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood. In a world where the Waynes and our golden shoe. family are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Wayne's time in the sun is ending. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! Well, <laughs> if that ain't a way to have a conversation. And that right there, folks, was Telltale's Batman Episode 1, Realm of Shadows. Mm hmm I expected that, if for nothing else, some people to make, were trying to make sure Falcone understood whose house he was in. This makes sense. Why wouldn't you want to get ahead of it? Same time, it's understandable that you wouldn't want to. Whoever used whatever situation would twist the words, which is precisely what happened. 
Hmm. Pretty split on this one. I can understand why people would bother, but there's no need. Every step I would take, he would crack. There's no need to break his arm until I actually need to break his arm. He gave me no need to. Hmm. I can see that. Probably didn't think a reporter would be as useful. And I could probably understand why. As much as a reporter could get the news out. It's still just a reporter. But this is somebody who actually has sanction to do something. Yep, I figured this much. Especially if nothing else than Gotham was watching, watching and didn't want a bad reputation from the choices. So, yeah. <clears throat> just not really my style unless I really need to get like that. Alright. Next time on Batman Z. When your parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them. Your parents were good people, Bruce. No matter what that thug Falcone told you. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. The evidence you brought me on Falcone held up. Maybe I misjudged you. Now Batman's beating up mobsters too. Wonder who he's after next. Whoever deserves it, really. Hell of a view. Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham. I have to... distance myself. I will find the truth. Along with anyone who stands in my way. That's going to be the end of episode three. And, uh, if you folks uh, like what you see, or rather part three of episode one, if you folks like what you see, yeah, give me a like, follow, subscribe here on uh, YouTube. And, uh, we'll be starting episode two next time. Whatever you folks have to be, uh, morning, afternoon, evening, or night, uh, have yourselves a good relaxing time and uh, God bless you.